Hello and welcome for this solo playthrough of Advanced Squad Leader. I'm Robin Reeve and we're continuing the scenario G242, Courage of Cowan. And we are playing now the American Turn 2. But before we go further, uh, I would first, I want first to thank everybody who uh, gave some advice and uh, also signaled some errors I made. Uh, there were some quite extreme situations where I, you know, in the in the heat of uh, of things, I, uh, I missed things. I missed also uh, uh, things that I don't miss usually. Uh, so now I'll try to um, to explain what I should have played correctly. So, um, in the case of this Jagdpanzer, when it was here or here, I don't remember, I don't remember the, the, squ the squad bailed out and actually uh, it had nine morale and I rolled nine, nine for the bailout, so it didn't, uh, it didn't, I, I'm going to correct it now, it remained a squad, but when a unit is broken, uh, before it bails out, uh, it loses its support weapon. The support weapon is eliminated. This is the rule. Huh? Any support weapon carried by a bailing out rider is eliminated if the carrying unit breaks or is eliminated prior to or after bailout. There we are. Um, the leader up here, uh, it's not dramatical, but it suffered a K result and I don't know why I did it but I knew and that's something I, I usually don't do wrong uh, he shouldn't take the three I, I believe three MC behind when a leader is uh, wounded by a K result it doesn't take uh, an additional uh, morale check I think the only effect was that it was pinned anyway it couldn't have placed the uh, the such uh, the demol charge so uh there the, it didn't really affect the game massively okay so those were were already two um yeah errors um there also was uh where uh, an error for the two uh, close combat uh, results which uh, generated um uh, which yeah, which were um, whether American or German DR was two. So in this hex, the 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 American uh, squad, um, there were two wrong things. Uh, when you roll a two, there's a leader generation, okay, and you add the leader after having checked the leader generation. And there was another aspect also is that of course you recompute the the close combat. The I, I for, forgot to compute also the plus one um, DRM because the squad was pinned. So what I'm going to do now is to try a leader generation. Um, yeah, I must try it, and let's see. So here is a table, and you roll a die and. There's no, yeah, minus one for US. Uh, it was VSAF, uh, VSAV, so it mi minus two. Base morale is plus one, so it's minus one. So I'm rolling one die. Two, okay. Uh, let's see that table which disappeared, of course, very opportunity. So we go down to one. It's an eight minus one. So it would, uh, of course, have helped the squad uh, uh, destroy the, uh, the the tank. That's the first aspect that really I should have remembered. Uh, there we are. Uh, yeah, I'm calling him. Let me say like Ken, Kenny, Kelly. Uh, let's say Kelly. Just you know, because I rolled just if if the squad the pin squad uh, if the pin were uh, included the 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 squad would that would have immobilized the 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 tank but with the leader it it, it adds one uh, so anyway 
And there's another thing. I, I, I thank uh, Leslie Douglas. I thank also Stuart because uh, those two and also uh, the guy from Calgary, which are really very reactive. I, I thank you because you're really helping me uh, playing correctly, uh, helping me not miss things that I should really not have missed. And I learned something. Uh, I reckon that uh, close combat situations uh, uh, are rather uh, rare with 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 tanks I, I, it happens and and of course rolling a two is even rarer so uh, when you roll a two actually there's a, a an, a, an effect that's always there uh, which is called unlikely kill so that's leslie douglas i hope i'm getting the the first name right and the last na name wrong uh correctly and it's not douglas leslie uh, anyway one or the other you know who I'm speaking of. So an original 2cc always results in a chance of success. Okay, okay. When, when the attacker makes an original 2dr, he may roll the third eye. If the subsequent is a 1, the vehicle is a burning wreck, a 2 eliminated, a 3 it's immobilized, otherwise there is no effect. However, regardless of the subsequent DR, if the orig original 2 DR would have resulted in elimination or immobilization, that result still occurs, unless cancelled by an elimination burning result from the subsequent DR. Okay? So, uh, yeah. I'll roll the die just to see, so I, I just need to see with a 1 if the tank is burning. No, it isn't, so uh, anyway, it was eliminated. Uh, in the other case, uh, uh, here, uh, something I forgot to do was to try for the Nahverteidigungswaffe. And the Nahverteidigungswaffe uh, kill uh, is an, uh, a 16 FP attack. Let's see, because it's a late war tank. So you have a SN, we're in 44, SN8, not not 7 because it's uh, a, a, an SS. So let's say, let's try for it. Okay, anyway, didn't manage to fire it. If it, if it fired it, it would be a 16 FP attack. And even if the tank is moving, moving it's 16 FP. You can go in a Scott Romanovsky and uh, um, Klaus Malmström's uh, Q&A. Uh, it's very well explained. Uh, there is a Q&A and it says that uh, the attack is 16, whatever. Anyway, in this case, uh, uh, the 9 was just one over. So if the IFT is higher than the use, use number, you don't have it. Other, and that's tactical, it's not a question of, not an error, but the, the tank here, which finished there, uh, one of its op options, and I don't know why I didn't think of that, of course, was to go to try with the same Nahverteidigungswaffe to play some smoke there, you know? And if it plays smoke, uh, n neither bazookas was able to to hit it, or really through a, you know, a, a two uh, a two two hit. So uh, we wouldn't have that mess here with uh, people bailing out, etc. At least partly not. Um, but that's life. But that that's not an error in uh, rules wise, but it's an error. It's tactical um, overlooking. And uh, Stuart under, uh, underlined that we too often uh, forget about smoke. And uh, I, I, with the the SS squads which have a two smoke exponent, I hesitate a little using it, but I could use it a little more. Uh, I prefer the the, uh, the Americans with a, a three smoke exponent. Uh, my usual behavior is when you still have one mf to expand and you can expand it without let's say uh, uh, renouncing uh, assault move etc always try to play smoke on yourself you know it can help anyway so uh, that was also a tactical error um, but i had fun making the the overruns so uh yes and during the the overruns yeah of course the Nahverteidigungswaffe doesn't work uh, as a, an offensive weapon except during close combat phase another error i'll try to correct here is that this waffen ss squad destroyed the um, the they were there in close combat destroyed um 
the the 666 okay but it rolled also a 2 so uh, I'll tr I'll go for leader creation leader creation elite minus 1 uh, no, no sorry minus 1 Brit uh, German okay uh, it was an odds column, no, it's normal odds column, one to one, and uh, I have morale of eight, so that means minus two. Let's go, I believe. Yes, of course, it disappear, disappears. So, where is it? We're going down to an eight minus one. I'm going to give them a leader, of course. There we are. And I'm going to name it. Uh, well. <sighs> Schleier. Okay. Uh, those things I can correct because, and of course, you could recompute. But anyway, they destroyed the the Americans, so uh, it was an ambush, and so all went well. So. Uh, I allow myself such corrections. Uh, there is a current present debate on uh, on Game Squad about the uh, about the application of 8.2 rule. That means that rule which uh, says that if you uh, notice an error further uh, on after completion, uh, you just live with it. I, I'm fully okay with that, especially if. If by noting that error and trying to correct it, it re would have really an impact on the game. Better, yeah, let down and uh, 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 and advance further. In those cases, uh, I gave myself slack, as I could give to uh, an opponent in a friendly game. Uh, I think that 8.2 rule, as I explained also on, on Game Squad, are is are more there so that when uh, players notice an error, they know how to manage it, and it's more about you know you will do things wrong anyway, uh, so give you some slack and yeah, don't try to rewind everything. It's not possible, etc. So. Of course, other people s believe that really you, you you must be very strict on the question. I presume that in um, an attorney, you could be more uh, more more strongly, uh, uh, let's say, legalistic in in, in the positive s uh, sense. I'm I, I'm trying to find the the, the way. Uh, so. It's really a question of how you get along with your opponent and, and what you're trying to live together. And under that aspect, I tend, when I play, to be rather in a, a friendly, cool thing. There are so many elements in this game that you can miss. Uh, I, don't, I don't find it interesting to uh, really enforce things in a very strict way. Again, of course, if you you know things like, and I think other people wrote that things like uh, firing smoke first. Those are things that I will not give slack about. But you know, you had the ready face. You didn't notice all the. the uh, you didn't know, notice that light machine gun in the corner of the map that could be repaired, and you realize it. Uh, perhaps during your prep or movement phase. Yeah. What is the problem if you just say, okay, uh, you forgot to do it, but just roll, roll your die. It won't change the world. Okay, Th that's how I I am. And uh, I believe a lot of people, a lot of people and people with whom I'm playing are, are like that too. Uh, so I'm, I'm a very, I'm loosely playing 8.2 anyway. Uh, these videos are also meant so that you see how the game works and and s and I like to adapt to the good uh, suggestions uh, and remarks about my application of the rules. So, um, yeah, uh, I believe that the two leader generations uh, don't change anything. Okay, 
and there was hardly any risk to change anything because they both had my uh, negative modifier so a 6 plus 1 uh, hardly could be uh, and not it could not be generated so anyway it would always work in, in in the in the right way there we are ah yes there was also a remark i don't know who it, who said it but i think it's uh Douglas Leslie, you know, perhaps Stuart, he was right. I had, you know, those CX guys here, and I said, oh, I cannot uh, double time to 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 spend five uh, M MF to get get into those woods. That uh, because you know when you start uh, a turn CX, you cannot double time. So under that aspect, I was right. But what I didn't, what I missed actually, is that. Um, you can start a turn CX and minimum move. Th that is move one hex, which costs you more than you you're allowed, etc., etc. Uh, and they could have minimum moved and be CX and pinned in R3 because it's not considered double time. You can look at the rule. Um, so here is minimum move rule. You say uh, you see the units can make may make a minimum move of one hex during MPH even if CX or lacking the MF to play the full entry costs of the hex and of course uh, it's both pinned and CX afterwards this is confirmed an A4.51 uh, so the CX is removed uh, if the unit breaks or etc or moves unless due to minimum move or deep stream entry it bec uh, it becomes cx again so here you have a cross reference uh, of two rules which is not always the case in asl often you have one rule re hidden in in a part and no 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 rehashing no repeating of it elsewhere so they could have a minimum moved over there so I did something else, and they are here. Uh, but I'm not too sorry about it because uh, they they can move along the row. They yeah they're not in the here. They would just be pinned. They they couldn't even move there. But anyway, no regrets for that one. I think I covered all uh, what was written in uh, between the time I. Uh, posted the pre preceding video video and the time uh, I am recording this one so oh sorry my yeah it's difficult to yeah to find okay um, so let's go uh, really I I admit that so many errors were pointed pointed out that I was slightly annoyed but yeah anyway with hindsight i find that it's not too too terrible after all so uh we're i'm going to to uh, yeah i i'm uh, i'm continuing anyway i'm having fun i hope you are so that's that that's all that counts for me as said i don't pretend to be a very a good player I, I think i'm a decent one I, I don't want to say that i'm a bad one but i miss some things and you know in the heat i try I, you know that i don't edit my videos so we are in the conditions of uh, let's say um uh, yes of live play really really um so let's go we, i think i spoke enough already 20 minutes my nearly 20 minutes so Let's go for the wind. Whoops. No. Okay, no more gusts. Somebody asked me if gusts have bearing on ground snow. Uh, and they have none. So, uh, uh, they, yeah, it was not a problem. So, time for rally duties. Uh, on the USA inside, uh, we can try to uh, self rally the squad plus four for rallying plus one for self rally minus one for the woods uh, they need a four and they go up uh, that gives a little hope to the Americans who are quite 
under tension with those German moving towards them. Okay, on the German side, Frodish, I think they have a machine gun to repair. Okay, doesn't work. And here, Inzeln will try to rally this half squad. So plus one rally, minus one for Woods, minus one for... That's all. So plus three, I need. they need a five. Okay, they go up. A good streak again. Here, the leader, Heller, Holler, tries to go, needs a four. Nope, doesn't work. There we are. And there we are for the ready duties. So now prep fire. Hmm. Uh, the dilemma for the USAans is if they've prep fire, they'll get defensive fire a lot, really. Uh, so they need to pull back to at least try to have a line of defense over here. As I already hinted, I believe those guys here will run a rush uh, over here. Uh, I believe they are in the LOS of this uh, Panzer, Jagdpanzer. Here I have very well placed bazooka guys, but you know, hmm. uh, they would fire at plus two, so they would need a seven to hit, and when they hit against the front armor, um, they would have uh, 16 to kill, so five to kill. That's not, yeah. It's dangerous and they don't know who are there and if they knew I believe they would scamper. The most prob problematic here the leader it's an 8-0 will, will move away unseen but those guys here are really trapped in the in the foxhole so it's complicated so they'll have to move out uh, and get uh, first fire from the adjacent guys here and from those here even with plus one because of the woods even if they move here out of LOS it will be complicated on the other hand if they stand and fire yeah they they're not in the best situation you see the adjacent yes they could Really, they can play heroic. What, what the what the USA and could count upon? I'm trying to explain slightly more than I explained before because uh, uh, the the player from Calgary told me that I should explain more. Uh, if they if they fire, okay, they get fired back. They could break, and afterwards they could rout quite easily, uh, paying, of course, woods here. Two, uh, four, six, of course, but who will be there to, uh, to 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 protect them? Perhaps the squad here. So, I believe around here, no prep fire will be done. Those guy will will move out. Uh, I will see because I'll explain something else. I'll see if Kelly tries to go up go up here, uh, to 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 try to to smoke the. The the Yark Panzer it will have to turn its turret uh, not its turret its its covered arc its vehicle covered arc it costs plus plus th plus six because it is in woods uh, it doesn't have a lot of chances to hit and they could fire on it they could jump on it outwards you know yeah. because if they move if they move here they get shot. Uh, by by the gun in open, they could move here, but it's not very useful. Yeah, yeah, the gun could, f yeah, they could. You know, killing that tank is not a priority. What well, the priority is to uh, have a fallback defense. Mm. So even if you have you want to play hazard here, it's not the best best thing to do. I don't think so. Those guys here uh, will perhaps move here or here. Yeah, but the tank will be able to swivel anyway. But they can move out and try to avoid the. Yeah, they 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 they'll scamper out also. So, 
thinking of what the American will do during the prep fire, they won't do anything. So let's go and move. So here the squad will move normally to four. The idea also is to have at least two hexes so the German cannot creep using uh, you know um, assault movement. It, they must move faster. The, 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 the leader here will just move two and f four here. I presume that an oh sorry sorry before I do everything like that, and what's happening here? Okay, uh, yes. Before I go to move and face, I had a prep fire actually here. The the mortar can try to harm the tank. Um, that's very important to know that an area fire can. Uh, at least immobilize a tank. Uh, of course it must roll low etc. but there's minus one against it so so I fi the, the, the this half squad will fire the I say I but I'm I'm both German and, and American so the, the half squad here will try to do some harm uh, through indirect fire so the DRMs are minus two for the acquisition but plus one for the size so the base to hit is seven so it needs an eight to hit so it hits okay hull hit anyway and the IFT minus one because of the woods goes down to four which has no effect because uh, it will have effects around uh, if it rolls a K or KIA. Um, I'll show you the chart for offboard, uh, no, indirect fire. For indirect fire, you have all armored factor less than four, that's not the case, and all AFV more than eight, that's not the case, that's not an OT AFV. Here you see uh, on the AFE destruction table, really a good, very important table. Of course, all is into the rules written somehow, but you know. So if you uh, you look at the red, if it's equal to the K number with those modifiers, uh, it would immobilize the 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 the, the AV if it hits a hull and shock the turret. If it's smaller than K, uh, it will eliminate, and if it's smaller than half the K uh, number needed, it would burn. So we wrote four, it's higher than K. So, and if it were one more than K, uh, there would be uh, also uh, immobilize or shock results. So to be clear, uh, I would have needed a 2 from modification and I, w I only went down to 4, so that's unfortunate. And they lost, let's remind ourselves, yeah, they, yeah, they lost their uh, ROF, so uh, uh, they cannot fire more. Uh, just as a reminder, support weapons uh, may not intensive fire, so mortars may. Um, acquire targets, which is not the case with other support weapons, like let's say small infantry guns, you know, like the French or American ones or Japanese ones. Uh, so they can acquire, but no more. So I think that is done. And now we go to the movement phase, and now I move this squad here and this unknown unit here. Here, uh, the bazooka guys will move two hexes. Two, they are out of LOS, you see, because all around here you have blocking and nobody sees them except perhaps, I don't, I'm not even trying it, but even, but the broken cannot make it lose uh, concealment. So two, four, and that's all. Okay. K 
Kelly, as I said. Uh, no, let's first go with those guys. That's That could be annoying. Yeah, but now I have people. I perhaps don't need to move more than that. But I'll try to... Uh, They'll try to assault move here. And they take a risk, so one after the other. No, oh, with the leader, the squad. So, assault move can include ex uh, exiting a fox. So that's not a problem. So they're exiting it, so it becomes visible. Okay. Because they are in the LOS of the the Yak Panzer, I'm just yeah, okay. So with the leader, but why should they need the leader action? One, two, three. Or let's say they, they move normally, okay? Okay, one oh so the Yak Panzer has nothing better to do actually. Yeah, but it will it will be stuck. It will be stuck. And the others can come and kill it, but I don't think they they are looking for that. So, no, no, it's much more. I said Napoli, Napier. So it fires there. Uh, it will try to fire HE, of course. Uh, perhaps first thing that it'll try it's the machine gun. So I'm going to find those nice counters here and remove the M8 thing. I don't why. Don't know why they decide. There we are. So we have m one flat. Bang! Nothing. And now firing the MA uh, with HE, which is 8, because it's normally 7, but those are SS. So, plus 1 button up, plus 1 for the uh, for the woods, that's plus 2, minus 1, because they're non-assault moving, so it's plus 1 uh, on a base infantry target uh, to hit of 8, so they need a 7 or less. So they hit and they maintained and they have everything. That's the bad news. I'm going to put the concealment here uh, and link it to them. Oh, they're doing a fine job. I don't know. Okay. So they hit. And it's a 12 without any modifier. 12 on 8 plus 1 morale check. Okay. Napier. Napier. Okay. 12. Uh, they have an ELR of four, no, of three, three. Gee, 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 that's not good. That's not good. Okay, ELR. Okay, uh, I'll break it. Of course, there we are. And plus one for the guys. They survive, and they they make a normal task check, a leader loss task check with zero because their leader has zero. I think I'm right there. You may correct me. But the leader uh, has shown that he's not as good as he should. So, task check, which is passed. Okay. So, one. And they will move. Two, three, four. That, that's the thing. That's the thing. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, Cowan will also move. He's a hero, so... Ah, yes. Uh, no, there's no residual fire because I didn't lose uh, uh, ROF. I could have decided that the German lost uh, ROF and leave uh, something in the head. So, Cowan get, gets out and the... Mach the, 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 the head, not the head, so the Jagdpanzerfeer fires another round of HE. This time, minus one. No, plus one, plus two, minus one. No, flat. Needs uh needs an H. No. So it lost unfortunately uh H E. Okay. So it'll fire A P. That's not off anyway. So hit and it maintained ROF and it is a two flat. Okay. So Cowan Cowan has no problem. One, two, three Four, six. There we are. Mm -hmm. So let's remember that the MA uh, still kept ROF. 
Kelly and his men are going to run. Yeah, going to run. They'll try to scamper off and go toward the village and be ready for the the coming uh, conflict. So uh, bypass here one two three. Uh, even though the tank didn't exhaust ROF, uh, it cannot swivel because it's blocked. The CA is blocked uh, during um, yeah during first fire. So one two three bypass because of the snow. One two three four. Five, six, seven. That's okay. Now here, ah, uh, what are we doing? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, they, they cannot fire. They can cannot burning fire, and of course the the tank can turn its itself to not to be hit on the side so I, I don't want to try to play stupid um, I'm also having them run no 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 more move normally three well I don't think firing with no no just firing with the machine gun is okay uh, halved and doubled so it's one flat because of height advantage oh no 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 one minus one minus two because you don't count height advantage when you have full vision of the crest line. Correct me if I'm wrong here. So anyway, anyway, whatever it had no would have no effect. So one, uh, one, two, three, four. Here we are, and we'll be ready to 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 attack it. Okay, when it decides to move. Uh, we're done with the the defensive first uh, the movement phase. So uh, the HE will try to hit here again. You know, you don't just try to. Oh no, you have the mortar guys here. Why, why, why not? One, two, three. One button up. Two, three. Foxhole. Okay, that can. Yeah. So uh, the base uh, needed is an eight. So. They need a five to hit five plus three. No, but the acquisition changes, and of course the foxhole this time was used in full uh, in full view. Oh, sorry, um, it has no bearing uh, during movement phase. Of course, those guys decide to. They'll try something. They try to place smoke in their hex. They're moving a stack with the leader, so they roll one, two, three. They hope they have smoke. Yes, they have. There we are. Poof. One. They get out of the foxhole. Two. And of course the Germans will fire here, but they will have uh, lesser chances to hit hurt them. So six here. Plus two, plus three because of the woods. Minus one because of non-assault. Oh, open ground doesn't apply at all. So, what did I say? One. So six. Minus one. Plus two. Plus three because of the woods. So the the smoke adds to the woods. So I have minus one, plus three, minus one. So. Uh, it's plus one. Okay, six plus one. There we are. Normal morale check. The leader breaks. No, pinned. Oh, that's the, okay. It's not awful, but it doesn't help his men. And plus one for the men. They break. Okay, there we are. Do we need more? Yes, you always need more. You always want more. Okay. So that was the one movement. Uh, the other ones will wait because as they. As the smoke will go away during def defensive fire phase, so okay, that was what happened. You see, and okay. Uh, of course, the foxhole was uh, visible now because they they came out of it. So now we have defensive fire phase. Everybody's going to fire here. A good fire group that will be very hard to sustain. 
but broken uh, Americans are in better shape than uh, have a better morale than unbroken so we have 9 12 uh, point blank 24 24 plus 1 mm, that can be terrible 24 and 8 so don't have that by heart 2 MC okay let's go for the leader Mr. Miller 2 MC pin again 2 MC for the man ouch okay that would be all um, I don't think there are other defensive fire opportunities so defensive fire advancing fire phase I don't think there are a lot no 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 okay uh, route phase there we are so remove the prep remove the move and we look who will route so those guys here uh, they can go at different places but they move here too four six screen by the friend Miller is not stupid he will oh what did I do uh, he will also uh, route at the same place being reasonable isn't he um, <laughs> yeah and routing here also Napier will move two three because of the far uh, path four five going f towards the towards the towards the village there we are advanced face fine 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 here and the bazooka man mm, not too bad not too bad let me see no, nobody sees them actually yeah I could yeah with those they could have route here let me see because I, I realize that nobody has LOS here because no nobody has okay so those guys could have routed it one two three four five that was the best thing to do the bazooka guy guys come here you know because here the the squad cannot can only see the crossroads here because of the woods here it cannot go here uh, so that's that's a good news that means also the n4 cannot fire on p5 so yeah you see i'm giving me myself so much slack okay um cowan will gently move towards the village those people will come here hoping that their leader will find himself better there we are moving up here is a good idea and the bazookas are moving here bazooka men oh -ho. yeah here it's good to prevent a board edge creep so those 666 are at a good place for that they're not moving further there we are uh, that's the end of advance phase close combat phase nothing happens no pin nothing to remove okay who conceals this one conceals this one conceals everybody who is out of sight conceals in of course concealed terra it's automatically uh, here also they are concealed with Kelly well yeah they ran of course and here concealed because they are in orchards and nobody sees them so that is a very interesting situation where the, the Americans are still holding a line here those are perhaps weak but they, they still you know can pound if people try oh no no they cannot fire there because they only can fire at three but here they cover they cover the place here perhaps will they uh, stop the, 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 the tank but you know tanks in this this scenario cannot uh, move into into buildings uh, of course the SSR doesn't say say that uh, crews may voluntary voluntarily sorry for my English my English uh, abandon uh, AFVs because people do that and they get out and the the crew um, 
uh, can control a building. Uh, see, uh, not very historical, let's say, but it's a game. It's a game. Um, I would have made a, a standard rule that crews may not uh, gain con uh, gain control. They can contest it, like 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 leaders. That would have settled perhaps some some tactics which yeah have people have have crews ab abandon their their t their king tiger just to to capture a, a post office you know so here we are i hope i didn't miss too many things you know i tried things without always checking absolutely the rule but i think it's okay anyway i hope you're having fun and i i expect i hope i can we can uh, go on with the next turn, which will be the third of six German turns uh, of this scenario. So, bye-bye!